The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Economy Develop a prosperous and diversified economy to reduce the country's dependence on oil export revenues. The Ahmed Al Jabr oil and gas exhibition, one of the most important monuments and landmarks not only at the level of the Kuwait Oil Company, but also in Kuwait in general. The exhibition recognizes the important historical role Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah played in shaping modern Kuwait. The Ahmed Al Jabr oil and gas exhibition is named after Kuwait's 10th ruler. The exhibition serves to answer any questions to the public may have about oil and gas and the important functions they play in our modern lives. The Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition opened on the 17th of October 2016, which is located at the entrance of Ahmadi. The completion percentage of the Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition is 100%. The Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition encompasses a total area larger than 60,000 square meters. The center holds exquisite displays and exhibits to make it one of the jewels in the region's crown. A key aim of the exhibition is to encourage young people to explore careers in the oil industry. The Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition includes the latest technologies. The Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition serves a broader segment of the community, particularly students and researchers. The government has launched a new long-term development plan dubbed New Kuwait Vision 2035. The launch of New Kuwait Vision 2035 represents a second attempt by the government to transform Kuwait into a regional financial and commercial hub for the Northern Gulf. Here from New Kuwait government account, completion of 97.2% of the Jabir Reg project, Doha Link. Abdullah Salim Culture Center wins award for Best Engineering Projects in the Middle East and North Africa. The city of South Subah Al Ahmed of the modern and upgraded projects in Kuwait. For more information or details regarding Kuwait Development Plan, please visit the website on the screen. The workshop on means of cooperation between the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and charitable organizations in Kuwait was launched at the UN House premises where Assistant Foreign Minister for Development and International Cooperation, Ambassador Nasr al-Sabih, inaugurated the event, recognizing efforts made by all parties in facing this humanitarian crisis and encouraging adequate continuous efforts to secure provision of vital survival tools and resources. It is indeed uh, a pleasure for me to uh, talk to you uh, this morning. Uh, as you may know, uh, the uh, issue of uh, refugees and displaced people and forced migration is an issue of everybody. Uh, yes, uh, UNHCR is the mandated agency to provide protection and durable solution for uh, refugees and uh, stateless people and uh, IDPs and uh, other people who are uh, lacking uh, protection but uh, uh, this effort or the efforts of UNCR cannot uh, reach its goals without the contribution of everybody including the civil society, the host communities and uh, uh, on top of all uh, the hosting states because the responsibility to protect, to protect these people uh, rests on the shoulder of the hosting state. Again, hosting states cannot take this on their own without the support of everybody. It's a, an issue of partnership. Uh, it's an issue of uh, burden sharing. So here in Kuwait, we are working together with the state of Kuwait, with the people of Kuwait, and with the civil society, and uh, even with the private sector to uh, provide support to refugees all over the world. 
We're happy to be here in Kuwait today, this morning, with the civil society and NGOs. And what we're trying to do is to discuss the way forward and how we can collaborate more and more when it comes to the refugee situation in the MENA region and worldwide, of course. I think this is a great opportunity to uh, look into how we can complete each other, how we can uh, work together closely to address uh, the, the people of concerns, the refugee situation. Especially the MENA region has more than 23 percent of of people of concerns world, worldwide. And this is really important today uh, as we are in the eighth year of uh, even ninth year of the uh, situation in Syria, uh, Yemen and different places. So I think this is uh, today is a conversation and a dialogue on how the, the, the UN agency, UNHCR, uh, can work more closely with regional and local organizations uh, with, with very generous country, s countries such as Kuwait. The event was also to welcome Dr. Samir Hadadin for his designation as head of Kuwait office included a short film reflecting on the subject.